So, you have decided you want to buy a desolate piece of wasteland in the desert that's worth absolutely nothing. And you pick a county where in that, uh, where you are speculating you want to um, buy. And you notice in the local newspapers or on the county's tax assessor's website that they are going to hold a lien sale for defaulted um, parcels. If you are lucky on the website, they will show not only the assessor parcel numbers, but the size of the parcels and how to look at that parcel in person, face to face, up close and personal by you going out there and looking at the parcel. What happens if you only get a list of parcel numbers, um, assessor parcel numbers? Well, if you are lucky, once again, the website will have a county graphical information systems mapping tool that is online. That is a GIS mapping tool. You can therefore sit on your ass and do some of the research yourself just by the computer. Ugh. GIS systems for many counties out there will show you uh, large sections of land that have the assessor parcel numbers overlaid on them. Some of these GIS systems you have to specifically ask for in a check box the parcel numbers. Um, some, they're just defaulted to show you the parcel number overlaid over the land. You can also tell some of these GIS systems to overlay parcel numbers over a aerial photograph so you can actually see the parcel and what it looks like from the sky and you'll have the parcel number overlaid over that piece of land. There are other GIS systems that will show you a parcel diagram that will show you how to find that parcel, how to get out there, some of which will have a longitude and latitude so you use a handheld GPS receiver to find that parcel. Or it will give you landmarks or benchmarks and it'll tell you how many feet north of that benchmark the parcel starts and then stops and how many feet from that landmark north or south, east or west, you know, to find the corner of your parcel on this corner and that corner and that corner and that corner. And you want to go out there and look over the parcel before you bid on it. This, of course, means you must do a hell of a lot of work. The county's not going to do all this work for you, except um, Inyo County has done a hell of a lot of um, work for people, like I mentioned in the previous video. Um, they have been kind enough to put online brochures for the parcels that they have up for auction. And many of... <coughs> Damn it. Many other counties have done that also. Let's see. I wanted to mention that before you bid on a piece of land, you want to make sure that the piece of land is zoned for what you have in mind. There are um, zoning codes where a piece of land is not zoned for um, residential building. And it might be zoned inter, interduct, uh, in, fuck any, whatever the, introduction, industrial, goddammit. Might be zoned for industrial use, it might be zoned for mining use, or whatever the heck. You can probably get around the zoning laws for that parcel of land by not building on it, but parking on it, which is going to be the topic of my next video. You don't build a residence on it, you park a residence on it, a residence that has wheels on it, such as a trailer. Anyhow, if you do plan on building anything on that, you need to talk to the county planning department and make sure that the plans that you have in mind meet the zoning code for that parcel of land. The land that you are probably interested in is the most far away desolate useless piece of land that you can possibly find. <clears throat> that is of course to keep as far away from humanity as possible and to keep your yearly um, tax assessment 
feed down as possible as you can. Generally, a parcel is going to be taxed as a property tax for 1% of the value of that land. And the value is assigned by the county tax assessor. Of course, the actual value of the land is what the buyer is worth, is, is, thinks it is worth paying. The county tax assessor might have a radically different idea of how much that piece of land is worth than the buyers uh, might have. I see there is a county out there that um, looks like they have a couple parcels of land that are 50 acres and they um, went for sale at $700 for that 50 acres. I would love to get 50 acres of land for $700. I, I would find the exact center of that 50 acres and I'd park a fucking trailer on there and live out my pathetic life uh, drawing social security if it exists until finally the uh, rattlesnakes get me or the heat gets me or the frost gets me or uh, I just, you know, smoke a 38, can't take it anymore. So, next video is shelter for your piece of land.